So if you have been using Linux for really any amount of time, you may have encountered several negative aspects of the Linux community. We've talked about one of the big ones before, and that's the RTFM guys, right? Everyone who comes into a forum, asks a question, and then immediately gets a, a response saying to read the effing manual. I've made an entire video about that before, and I've talked about it on the podcast, so we don't need to reiterate that again. We all know that that is bad, in most cases at least, and we don't need to talk about it again. But there is another trait of the Linux community that really seriously bothers me, and this one, it, it feels like it's new, but it's been around for a long time, and that is the people who come to someone else who's having a problem and say, well, it works on my machine, therefore... You must be the dumb one. Now, obviously, we're paraphrasing there, but that's the general idea, right? You go to a forum or you go to a Discord server or wherever, you ask for help and you tell them that, hey, this thing that I'm using is not working and I need help. Like, I, I seriously, I, I, I've went to Google, I've tried to get it to work on my own or whatever, and I can't get it to work. And the number one response that you often get, and this is from people who are usually quite helpful but in this case they're not what they'll say is that well it works for me now usually they don't add on the little addendum saying obviously you're the one doing something wrong but that's what they mean or they mean that well your hardware is incapable of doing it or they, they're saying it's a skill issue something along those lines they're being condescending when they say that and it drives me absolutely bonkers and one of the reasons why is honestly the same reason why RTFM drives me nuts because it doesn't cost anything just to pass that situation by. If you have nothing worthwhile to add to the situation or to the to the problem, to the if you have no solution for that person, you have it costs nothing just to pass it by. It actually costs less because you don't waste your time typing in the thing that you are going to say, which is it works for me. It drives me absolutely bonkers, and I, th I think one of the reasons why is because it's so damn condescending, right? And it's also idiotic, because those people who say that obviously don't realize that everyone has a different computer. We're not all using the same Chromebook or the same ThinkPad or whatever, right? We all have different graphics cards and CPUs and different memory configurations and whatever right we all have different slightly different configurations even if we're all using the you know you know modern hardware there's still many different cpus to choose from even if you're all if, even if you just look at amd there are a ton of different cpus to choose from and then you got a you know, intel and you know some people are probably running you know apple silicon or whatever like everyone has a different amalgamation of hardware and to say that because something works on your computer therefore it must be good is just asinine it's the stupidest thing ever because okay on your hardware it works congratulations you win the lottery right and that doesn't mean that when it doesn't work for me that i'm the moron right it just means that i'm having some problems and could use some help right otherwise i wouldn't have asked the question right and and, and i think that We've talked about toxicity in the Linux community many times before on this channel, both on the podcast and me personally in videos, and it's types of things like this, right? It's the it's the types of things like this that really turn a lot of new users away, but it also turns a lot of seasoned Linux users away from asking for help as well, because if all I'm going to get when I ask a question is to learn that it works for you and therefore I must be the moron then why did I bother wasting my time asking, right? I might as well move on to whatever else is an alternative to whatever I was searching for. So uh, just an example of this, if you watched my last video on Nix, I showed in that video I've been dabbling with Hyperland. Now, I know that video confused some people because Matt, like a week and a half before that, you said you're going to protest x -Org until they pried it out of your cold dead fingers. I'm still taking that position, but the way I feel about protests is that I have to understand the thing that I'm protesting. So I've been dabbling in Hyperland trying to get it to work and see if it's any better and all that stuff. Because I, despite all of my naysaying against Wayland, I still know that it is coming for us, whether we like it or not. So some preparation in that direction is probably a good thing. At least some understanding is. So I've been trying to get Hyperland up and running. And in, in traditional Wayland fashion, 
I failed mostly. I got further this time than I have ever before, which is, you know, not really all saying that much because if you can't get all the way to a working system, a partially working system does you no good. But that's beside the point. But because I'm in a, in a Linux community and I know a lot of people who are in the Linux community and I have a fantastic Discord server that is most often very good at helping people. In fact, I would say they're extraordinary, not only helping me, but basically everybody in the community that joins, right? We, Everybody kind of pulls together and tries to help when they can. And I, you know, asked for help with Hyperland. And the first thing from one of the people that I know and they have conversed with many times, their first thing was, well, it works for me. Now, I don't think that they were, I don't think there was any malicious intent in that phrase. I, in fact, I don't think that when people say this, there is malicious intent. Uh, it, it does come across as condescending, but they don't mean anything bad about it. Whereas with the RTFM folks, you can tell that those people are just assholes. The, the people who say it works for me, I don't think are being that way on purpose. It's just something that you say when, and I think actually, just to be fair, I think that I've said it in, in, in the past, uh, but I almost immediately when I say this to somebody else, well, you know, it works for me. I also think, well, you know, well, just because it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. You know, I, I try to at least be open-minded about it and try to say, well, how can we kind of narrow down why your system is different than mine? Maybe we can figure out what the problem is. Uh, but the thing is, is that when, when I faced that situation, right, I was immediately turned away from doing anything else on Hyperland. I went, I switched the environment variable off again and went back to Qtile because I was just done for the day. I obviously wasn't going to get any help. And, and well, I, I don't, here, here's the thing. I, like, when I say I obviously wasn't going to get any help, therefore I'm, you know, just going to quit. It feels entitled to say that, right? Like, I, I know my brain, like, I'm entitled to somebody's help. I'm entitled to somebody's, you know, time and effort into helping me in my situations, right? It, it sounds very entitled, and maybe it is a little bit, but I don't I don't expect people to help me. But when I go out seeking help, if I'm not going to, if you're not going to help me, just pass it by. It, that doesn't, like, that doesn't bother me at all really whatsoever it, it in fact many people pass all the questions on a forum by right because either you don't know the answer or you have nothing constructive to say right a lot of people most that's the way most people are but there are some people who just have to put in something to feel like they're contributing maybe and sometimes that comes across as super condescending and not at all helpful that i think that's the bottom line i, I mean i can whatever i put up with with annoying people all the time, both in the Linux community and outside of it, right? You, you can't work with people and not come across annoying people all the time. So it's just, it's just kind of the way life is. I can ignore that part. I can ignore the kind of sending part, but the part that I don't get is the waste of time, right? It, it, if you, you, you took the effort to say, well, it works for me. You took that time and effort when you could have used those three seconds to do something, literally anything else. And you could have kept me from, getting my hopes up of having the help, right? You know, it's just one of those things that really, truly bothers me about the Linux community. And while I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's as malicious as, you know, the RTFM guys, I, I don't feel that way. It, it does still put a negative spin on the Linux community, which I love so much. Because for the most part, the Linux community is a fantastic group of people, right? The, the vast majority of people that I've met in the, in the Linux community and, you know, whether it's the even in Arch Linux or Ubuntu or whatever, the vast majority of people are not only very friendly, but they're also very helpful. The amount of time and effort people volunteer to help others in this community is just astonishing. And I always try when I know what I'm doing and can help others, I try to give that back by helping other people in forums and on my Discord and in comments and stuff. Like I, I did a video on Rising i3 probably two and a half years ago or so. It's a horrendous video. You guys can tell I'm an utter noob at making videos, but it's one of my top videos of all time. And to this day, I still get questions on that video about how to do things. Well, when I have a chance, I'll go help those people, right? If I see the comment and I know the answer, I'll go a ask them or I'll go help them, I should say. I'm not gonna go deliberately leave a comment and say, well, it works for me, therefore, you know, whatever. That would be stupid right I, I would be further along just to ignore that comment and just carry on with my day it would save me time and it would save the person asking the question the 
pain of seeing a notification. They're saying, oh, I might have gotten some help from this guy who thinks he knows what he's doing. And then only to see the comment is, well, it works for me. Yeah. So anyways, I haven't done a good old fashioned rant in quite a while. So this one felt good. I, I don't think that there's anything really more to say about this other than don't be that guy, right? Don't be the, it works for me guy. I don't care that it works for you. If it doesn't work for me, working for you does me no good because it still doesn't work for me. I'm no further along. And while that seems selfish and uh, it doesn't seem empathetic because I'm, you know, I, I should care that it works for you. I should be happy for you. Um, I'm also happy for you in the sarcastic sense as well because it doesn't work for me, right? So that's it for this video. If you have any thoughts on this video, on this whole situation, you can leave a thumbs up on this video. I'd really appreciate it. it really does help the channel. It really does help these videos to do that. So I thank you very much for doing that. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can also head on over to the merch store where you'll find hats, t-shirts, hoodies. There's a desk mat, which I actually have one ordered. It's not here yet. I want, I'm really hoping that that's really awesome. That should be fun. So you can head on over there, check those out. All that stuff goes directly to help the channel. So thank you so very much for that. That's at shop.linuxcast.org. I always forget to say the URL until the very end. I don't know why really weird anyways thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing and uh yeah this whole credits thing it has been updated so all the new guys should be here but it's not the new thing that i was working on uh the new thing that i was working on just <laughs> and every once in a while you bite off more than you can chew and that was one of those situations it turns out i can't animate for shite anyways that's it for this video thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time